All right, let's do this. Welcome to 2020 Tuesday. I'm your host, Luke Radel. He did it, and he did it on 2020 Tuesday. He has selected his vice president, and I was right. And we are coming on the air with breaking news. The wait is over. Breaking news. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden has made his choice. NBC News has confirmed that Biden has picked California Senator Kamala Harris to be his running mate. The Biden campaign making that announcement uh, moments ago. That's right. Joe Biden has selected former 2020 presidential contender and current California Senator Kamala Harris to be his running mate. Senator Harris was announced as the vice presidential running mate for the Democratic Party on Tuesday afternoon. In a statement on Twitter by Joe Biden, he writes, quote, I have the great honor to announce that I've picked Kamala Harris, a fearless fighter for the little guy and one of the country's finest public servants, as my running mate. A few moments later, the Joe Biden website was now changed to reflect the Biden-Harris ticket. As has been mentioned by many people during this process, there is huge historical significance to the fact that Kamala Harris has been selected. She is the first ever African-American and Asian-American woman to be on a major party's presidential ticket, only the fourth woman to be on any party's presidential ticket for a major party, of course. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty important pick. And also, very predictable. I mean, I was the one who said, I mean, not to brag, but... Uh, I was the one who said that Kamala Harris was going to be the pick, along with, you know, almost everybody else in politics. Despite all of that, Kamala Harris does still come with some downsides as the VP pick, most notably the fact that she was an incredibly vocal and effective opponent of Biden's during the 2020 primary process. Although picking a primary opponent is not uncommon for VP selections, like in 1980 when Ronald Reagan selected his primary opponent, George H.W. Bush, and in 2008, when Senator Barack Obama picked Joe Biden as his vice president, even after Biden said this. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African-American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and a nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. Yeah. With that said, the fact that Biden selected someone who disagreed with him so strongly in the primary does show a certain level of thick skin. Unlike someone else who picked a vice president who just affirms everything he says, hey, where did this picture of Mike Pence come from? The point is, is that I'm not very surprised by who Joe Biden selected as his vice president. After all, I did call it a week ago. But I would say this, I think it's a good choice and I think it will be a good choice coming into the 2020 election. But honestly, we don't really know what's going to happen, so it's all up in the air. Thanks for watching.